I finally found the perfect camping fridge. Stick around, I'll tell you why I made the switch to the Iceco APL55 after using the EcoFlow Glacier for over a year. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I have the Iceco APL55 and the PB1000 battery pack in front of me here today. And this combination of fridge and battery bank is perfect if you're gonna bring a lot of food and drinks to your camping trip. There are a lot of choices for refrigerator and portable battery packs, but I did my fair share of research and I'll tell you why I chose this combination of refrigerator and battery bank for my camping trips. Iceco did send me these products to try out, but all of the opinions in this video are my own. So here's my story. I'm a pretty big fan of EcoFlow products and I've been using the EcoFlow Glacier for over a year. It's a great product and I've been using it at home and also taking it with me to camp pretty regularly. However, I'm looking for a larger capacity fridge. If you've been following my channel, you know that I like to cook and bring a lot of food and drinks with me to camp. However, the 38 liters capacity of the EcoFlow Glacier is not enough. So I wanted to upgrade to the Iceco APL55's 55 liter capacity to be able to carry more food and drinks for my future camping trips. I'm mostly a weekend camper three seasons out of the year and I like to go camping with my wife and my two dogs, but summer is when it gets really busy and we like to go camping with our friends and larger group settings. The APL55 is perfect for this as its increased capacity allows me to carry more perishable goods. I only introduced the best brands in the industry and Iceco is a very well-known brand in the camping industry and I was pretty confident that the APL55 and the PB1000 was going to satisfy what I needed for camping. I've been testing out the APL55 at home for the last few months and I'm going to tell you guys what I like about it and what I don't like about it. This video is not focused on technical aspects of the APL55 but rather it's going to be focused on practicality and how I use it to fit my camping needs and why I switch over from the EcoFlow Glacier which is an excellent fridge to the Iceco APL55. First of all, I love the look and the construction of this fridge. Just look at it. It is made out of all metal from all sides. It feels premium and I haven't come across many other fridges that has a beautiful solid construction like this. The silver color covered with black metal corners gives it a tough overlanding look while still balancing it out with elegance. And of course, because the exterior is metal, it's more prone to get dings like a home refrigerator. The handles are made out of metal, and even the clamps to hold the lid closed, it's made out of metal. The construction is pure quality. I've used other fridges that the exterior is made out of plastic, and let me tell you that like the handle broke and some other parts broke in the fridge, and I wasn't too happy with that. It's really, really frustrating when you're at camp and something's not working. The sturdy construction of the APL55 really puts my mind at peace, especially when I'm camping in the middle of nowhere. The APL55 is a dual zone refrigerator, which means that you can have a freezer section and a non-freezer section. The dual zone is divided by a removable wall that seals the temperature in each zone. You can easily adjust the zones with a touch of a button. I like to set the smaller zone to be a freezer and the larger zone to be a regular fridge temperature. The larger zone has an L shape to it. I personally don't like this L shape in a lot of portable refrigerator designs out there in the market, but I actually found this L shape in the APL55 to be extremely useful. The tall basket holds all of my foods as I pile it to the top leaving an odd space. This odd space in other fridges doesn't really allow you to put much of anything else. However, I'm able to put 10 standard size cans in this odd compartment of the APL55. This is exactly what I was looking for. With the EcoFlow Glacier, I'm not able to carry drinks with me. I've always had to carry an extra cooler to bring drinks and the Glacier was used purely for food. But with the APL55, I'm able to bring everything in one fridge. So let's move on to the other external features of the APL55. I like how the fridge door has a soft close. The lid latch takes some time getting used to as you have to put in a little more effort in opening and locking both latches. But I have to say that I really appreciate this. There's been instances when myself or other people close the fridge 
and I'm not sure whether the fridge closed correctly or not. So you got a lot of air coming out of the fridge and it makes your food go bad. But with the secure latch of the APL55, there's not a chance that you can get it incorrectly. It's either you have it close or you don't. Looking at the bottom of the fridge, there are a bunch of ports on both sides of the fridge. I like how it's covered up to prevent dust and water from getting in. There's a port for AC input and USB output for charging small electrical devices. I don't think I'm going to be using the USB output that much, but you know what I'm going to be using a lot? I'm going to be using the DC input quite a bit. There's DC input on both sides of the fridge. This is such a thoughtful design. You no longer have to struggle with wire management to wrap the wires around in tight spaces to plug into a DC power source. You can either plug it in on this side of the fridge or this side of the fridge. The APL55 is a huge fridge. Now, one of my main concerns for the APL55 was it was gonna be really heavy to lift. But really, after looking at the specs, the APL55 is actually only four pounds heavier than the EcoFlow Glacier. The APL55 weights in at 54.67 pounds comparing to the Glacier at 50.7 pounds. I can definitely lift this fridge by myself as long as it's not loaded with food. Otherwise, I'm gonna need some help. And I don't have a problem with that because I only plan to take out the APL55 when I'm camping with somebody. However, if you're a solo camper, you can get the trolley or get a slide mount to install onto your trunk for a more permanent solution. All right, let's talk about power consumption. The APL55 does not come with a battery bank, so you need to get one of your own if you don't have one already. The EcoFlow Glacier has a built-in battery pack, but I find myself carrying another battery pack regardless because the built-in battery pack won't last me a weekend. The APL55 pairs really well with the PB1000 battery bank. This battery bank has a capacity of one kilowatt and I think this capacity is perfect for weekend campers. You don't have to worry about charging your battery bank with solar panels if you're just camping for the weekend because one kilowatt should last you plenty for the weekend. The APL55 has a very efficient compressor. In fact, it has the same compressor as a Dometic fridge. It's a hot day in the 80 something degrees Fahrenheit and it took about 20 minutes to cool the fridge to a dual zone of zero degrees on one side and 37 degrees on the other. While I was cooling, it consumed about 50 to 60 watt hour. This is pretty high, but it only uses this much power for a short amount of time. When it gets to the desired temperature, it consumes about 30 to 40 watt hour to keep the temperature consistent. The fridge compressor doesn't have to run all the time. It only runs when it needs to cool. This technique is what makes portable refrigerator so efficient in cooling. I tested this at camp and it consumed about 40% of the PB1000's capacity each day, which is about 400 well. There are a lot of factors that goes into how much power the fridge is gonna draw. In my case, the temperature was in the high 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but the fridge was always kept in the shade and is the coolest spot at the campsite. If you leave it in the rec sun or a hot car, it will consume more power and you won't get the same result as me. This fridge is so efficient that at the end of our camping trip, my friend made a comment about how efficient this fridge is compared to many other fridges that he's tried out. Now let's talk about the price. Icego has been known to provide budget refrigerator, but that's not true anymore. They've been increasing their quality and also increasing their price. So when I think of Icego, I think of them as a brand that provides value. And value is exactly what you're getting in the APL 55. It retails for $859, and that's not a small amount of money. But when you put it into perspective, the EcoFlow Glacier is marketed as a premium product that sold for over $1,000 when it first launched. I think the APL 55's price is really fair because it keeps all the important features while omitting the less common features. You can pair the APL 55 with the PB1000 for $1,458. I think this combo is a great deal if you're in the market for a battery bank. The PB1000 is Icego's first big battery bank. I like that it has a boxy shape, handles that folds inwards to save space, easy to press buttons, and protective coverings for all the inputs. However, the maximum AC output is only 1200 watts. 
There's not a lot of information on their inverter technology, but I can tell you that I tried running my espresso machine, which has a 1500 watts requirement, and it works. So it's actually a big surprise to me that it works, and I'm pretty happy with the battery pack. The only thing that I would change about this battery bank is to make it a little bit lighter. It's actually heavier than most other comparable battery banks from other brands. I can go into the finer details in a separate video, so stay tuned. I've talked about some of my favorite things about the APL55. Now, let's talk about some of the things that I wish it had. I find the app to be a super convenient way to keep an eye on your fridge without actually being next to your fridge. The APL55 connects to your phone via Bluetooth only. This means that you have to be closer to your fridge in order to be able to use the app comparing to a Wi-Fi connection in which I can be anywhere in the world. A Wi-Fi connection might not be the most important thing while you're camping, but I tend to leave my fridges at home a lot of times and I like to keep an eye out for it through a Wi-Fi connection while I'm away from home. Other than that, the app works extremely well in letting you use all the functionalities of the fridge. The next point that I like to make is there's no ice maker in this fridge. The EcoFlow Glacier had an ice maker and I find that to be pure luxury, which I really appreciate. However, after using the Glacier for a year, I actually didn't use the ice maker all that much like I thought I would. So it's actually not too bad to not have an ice maker, but if you're looking for an ice maker and that's a deal breaker for you, the APL55 might not be the one for you. Not having an ice maker is just a little bit more of a hassle because you either have to make your own ice or you have to buy it. It takes up more space in your freezer compartment, so that leaves less room for frozen foods. Again, it's just a matter of personal preference, but I think most people would be fine without an ice maker. And last but not least, since the APL55 is a little bit bulkier than what I'm used to, and it's pretty heavy once it's loaded with food, so I wish if there were like small little wheels that is able to attach to the bottom of the fridge so I can push it inside my trunk without much of a hassle. Now, like I mentioned before, there is a trolley for the APL55 to sit on, but I think the trolley's wheels is a little bit too big for me to be able to put the APL55 on top of the trolley and put it inside of my trunk. Again, all the things that I just mentioned are minor things that are nice to have, but it doesn't affect your overall experience with the APL55. I still highly recommend this fridge if you're in the market for something this size and you're in a similar situation like myself. Get this fridge if you like to carry a lot of food and drinks for a weekend camping trip with your family. With the APL55, you can store enough food for yourself to last for a week if you decide to go on longer camping trips. It's also an excellent fridge to bring with you for larger camp gatherings so you have enough food and drinks for friends and family. The compressed air technology in this fridge is very efficient and quiet. The one kilowatt PB1000 battery bank will last you a whole weekend without needing to charge with solar panels. The pricing is somewhere in the middle. It's not as expensive as a premium fridge and not as cheap as a budget fridge. Let me know what you think about the APL55 in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like and hit that subscribe button to support the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.